What's going on YouTube, Geosner right here. So in today's video we have some great news for those of you waiting for jailbreaks or jailbreak tools on iOS 16.2 all the way up to 16.5 and even on iOS 16.6 .6 beta 1. The Kawabunga application might get an update. In fact, we might get a new application called Mandala Pro, which is basically doing the same thing. We're going to get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Definitely check it out in the link below. So you probably remember the Kawabunga application application which allowed you to perform customizations on your device, for example, install themes, hide the dock, change the carrier name, change icons and stuff like that without a jailbreak. The tool worked on iOS 14.0 up to 15.7.1, but also on iOS 16.0 up to 16.1.2, because this one used basically the uh, Mac 30 Cow exploit, and that one was patched in 16.2. Now there is also the Kawabanga Lite available, but that one can't do nearly as much tweaks as this one can do. So the Kawabanga was indeed pretty nice, because because you could actually use this without being jailbroken or without being detected by applications as if you are jailbroken. Well, it turns out that we might get an update from source location thanks to the fact that we now have a kernel exploit. The kernel exploit, in fact the version modified by XS Fire, apparently they were able to emulate Mac 30 Cow via the KFD exploit released a couple of days ago, so that's actually quite great because source location was able to get Mandela Pro, a Kawabanga fork, basically run on iOS 16.5 and iOS 16.6, so so uh, it supports iOS 16.0 all the way up to iOS 16.6 .6 beta 1. However, you should know that the iOS 16.5.1 and iOS 16.6 RC or the newer versions of the uh, beta will not be supported. In this video over here, they demonstrate how it works. It's a normal application like Kawabunga used to be. And you can see here they have various customizations that they can enable and the themes get applied and the icons get changed. In this case, they added the KFD icon or image on top of the settings. So you can see they did a pretty good job with this application. It really is kind of like Kawabanga. I wonder which of the tweaks work, but in theory it should be all of them. So just to clarify, they said in here, quote, just to clarify, this isn't using Mac 30 Cow. Even though I am on iOS 16.1.1, instead it utilizes a fork of KFD, which enables file overwrite. So this is indeed using the new exploit. I wrote an article over here on my website, the link will be below, in which I explain more about this, but it's basically a brand new kernel exploit that was released a couple of days ago, and this one works from iOS 15.0 all the way up to iOS 16. 16.5 and the iOS 16.6 .6 beta 1 is supported as well. There are some advantages of using Kawabanga and Mandala Pro compared to a full jailbreak and the biggest reason is that Kawabanga and Mandala and stuff like that cannot be detected by applications that look for jailbreaks. So you can use that with your bank application or you know various games and stuff that would normally detect a jailbreak and they would not complain. However a full jailbreak like Pelrain and Uncovered and stuff like that would immediately be detected and the apps would not work. So yeah yeah, that's pretty big of an advantage, but there is indeed limitation as well. There are not nearly as much tweaks available for Kawabanga and for Mandala that are available for a normal jailbreak. However, this is easier to make, while we wait for a proper jailbreak to be created, that is. So yeah, that's basically it. Check out the article in which I explain more about what this is. But yeah, if you know Kawabanga, it's basically the same kind of application and is being developed by Source Location and this developer over here. And yeah, it's made with the new KFD exploit. So thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time. Peace out.